when I was pastoring in Lebanon, Oregon, our church building was located right next to the high school, and I had felt called to minister to students who came onto our grounds and smoked. I had gotten in the habit of doing this a few times a week, mingling with them. And so one morning I was fixing my breakfast in the parsonage, which is about a block away, and I looked out and I could see, as usual that morning, there were a group of students gathered smoking in front of the church. I was fixing my breakfast and I had a little debate with God as to whether or not I was going to go over there and minister to them. I said to God, I have a right to eat my breakfast. But God won the debate. I think I was being pulled out to go over there. As it turned out, one of their friends had taken their own life the night before. And it was an open door for me to minister to those students. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Listen to the words of the Apostle Paul, starting with 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as an expert builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should be careful how he builds, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If any man builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, his work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light. So what we have seen is that there are works that will be rewarded one day and those that will not. And we want works that are gold, silver, costly stones, quality works. And we've said that those are works that are from him, that are through him, and that are to him. And we're still really talking about works that are from him. And today, doors that God opens. Listen to Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. Imagine how exciting our life would be if we woke up in the morning and said, God, you have prepared works for me to do today, and I'm going to be watching for what the open doors are so that I can walk through them and minister in the way that you're calling me to. In that church in Lebanon, we went through a season of about 12 weeks long where God was moving very powerfully week to week. And sometimes in the morning worship, we would have a sense, I would or we would, that God had brought a particular truth. Maybe we were singing a song and the truth contained in that song was just vital. And there was a sense in which we need to pay attention to this. But we had a choice to make. Would we just go on with the order of service that we planned, sing the songs we planned to sing, preach what I planned to preach and just move on? Or would we stop and adjust and go with the open door that God had just opened. I found that it was vital that we go with the door that God had opened. So I want you to think of your life the way I do. You are a running back in football, and the quarterback hands you the ball, and you have a plan. Maybe you're going to be going off tackle, but maybe there's no hole. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Let's say there's not, and you have to stop and adjust and go where the hole is so you can gain yardage. That's like our life. God is like our lineman going ahead of us, opening doors so we can run through them. That is, that we can minister in the way that he is calling us to minister to. So, the question is, as we go through our day, what doors, God, are you opening for me to minister in now, if you want more information about the quality works, listen to the past few Truth Talks and the next few because we'll be covering more of that. And until next time, may you watch where God is opening doors and may you seize those moments to minister there.